Ibanez has always had the knack of putting their guitars into the hands of some of the hottest young guitar players over the years. And this year is no exception because they brought along with them John Petrucci of Dream Theater. So let's go take a look and see what the guys from Ibanez are up to. Throughout uh, the history of Ibanez, um, the principal thing has always been that Ibanez has been a, a company that's based on innovation. So whether it was uh, a guitar that was like a jazz guitar to something like the RG, which is more of like a hard rock, you know, progressive rock kind of uh, instrument to something like the Talman, we've always tried to look at things, take certain elements from the past and marry them to things that we have tried to install as a new point of technology to make it more advantageous for the player. I think with the diversity of artists that we have and that we work with, we always try to concentrate on satisfying their needs for the guitar. That's the number one priority. We have always had a pretty wide range of instruments available w within our lineup, um, but I think now is probably, uh, probably the widest range of instruments we've ever had available. This guitar got its reputation as sort of a workhorse rock and roll instrument with a really good, what we feel is one of the best tremolo systems in the industry. This is the uh, Talman model, and we have a number of different models in this range. But uh, this was something that was designed primarily to uh, uh, throw back to the kind of uh, vintage instruments that so many people in the company were interested in, as well as like there was a very obvious movement towards uh, a demand for this type of guitar. So this has a lot of uh, heritage uh, kind of feeling to it. It has a lot of tradition built into it, but again, it has, uh, there's some things in it that are very innovative. The really cool thing about working for Ibanez is that it is a fairly loose organization that um, encourages creativity. And, you know, that's what it's all about. When, when, no matter what aspect of music you're involved with, that's what it's all about. And there's a lot of that going on. It's very good. So far as the recognition of Dream Theater as a band and this amount of success that we've we've had, uh, the most influence it's, it's had is um, open me up, opening myself up to uh, all of the the great equipment and and gear and and people in the industry that are so willing to work. I mean, Bill Comiskey uh, from Ibanez. I mean, I met him like before we were even had a record out. He he was giving me guitars and stuff and. And we built this relationship, and uh, I feel I feel um, privileged to to have the type of opportunities that that most kids really don't. You know, I'm, I mean, I still remember, of course, saving up money to buy guitars, and it took a long time. And and now equipment and amplifiers and guitars, I, I feel like it's uh, I have the opportunity to experiment, and and that's that's kind of been good as a professional. One of the important things that I, I learned when I was young. I, I, I don't know if I fully absorbed it, but I was as I was trying to become a better and better player was to uh, to play with conviction and confidence. And uh, you know, I th I thought that 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 was something that you got from recognition from people thinking, uh, you know, from from praise or whatever. But it's not. It's con the playing with conviction comes from within yourself, how you feel about yourself, uh, and it comes across in your playing.
this is my my custom uh, series guitar from from Ibanez, and uh, it's uh, basswood body. It's very light wood, and uh, the neck has a, a very light satin finish on it. Um, large frets, 6100 frets, rosewood fretboard, and the pickups are direct mounted to the body to prevent as much feedback as possible. They're made by uh, DiMarzio. They have less of a magnetic pull than the typical rock and roll pickup. And the uh, placement of the knobs is very important so that they don't get in the way of your hand. And uh, another special thing about the guitar is the neck joint that Ibanez makes that allows you to get all the way up to the higher frets. And also the bridge. It's called a low profile bridge and it doesn't really get in the way of your hand. It's a great system.